I'm not having a great day with this game right now. Short it, hurt version. Short version, I've tried twice before now to play, and the game crash freezes. Game freezes. Wizards can't jump. That is just nonsensical. We have come to the west gate of Moria. Here, the elven land of Holland ended. There is a gate here. Dwarf doors are not made to be seen when shut. Behold. What does the writing say? It reads, The Doors of Dudin, Lord of Moria. Speak, friend, and enter. What does it mean, speak, friend, and enter? If you are a friend, speak the password to open the doors. Do you know the word, Gandalf? If I am allowed a bit of peace, I shall seek for the word. Sleep. Never mind. <laughs> Keep the beast of faith. Sorry about this, I did not I did not set my timer. Come on, Ed Helen! No, that's not it. Okay. I have no idea if this is accomplishing anything. to save
Okay, first... Now save here. And stop recording so that I can check a walkthrough. Okay, I'm back. I think I have some ideas to what to do. I think it's mainly I have an issue with being patient about this sort of thing. If you are a Keep the beast at bay. I need more time. Turn on, Ed Helen. No, that's not it. I didn't need that password now, Gandalf. For some reason, Aragorn is the only one who's doing anything. Everyone else inexplicably ran away. That applies to holy grails, not doors. The password is the Elvish word for friend. Merlock. I could have told you that. And I would have just been using context clues from Rivendell. Let us rest while we can. How long will it take to get through this place? I cannot say for certain. Three or four days march, providing we don't get lost or run into trouble. trouble? We're doomed then. What kind of trouble? Orc trouble. Moria is vast and deep. With luck, we can avoid all the orcs. Our luck seems to be running sour of late. Perhaps you would have preferred to remain behind with that thing in the lake? Uh, not me, Mr. Gimli. Not that thing or those wolves. I'll take my chances in here. Save. Taste foe hammer. And one dwarf who needs no excuse to kill you. That is plenty of it anyway. Popular demand. The Song of Durin. The world was young, the mountains green. No stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone when Durin woke and walked alone. He 
name the nameless hills and dells he drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in mirror, mirror, and a crown of star, and saw a crown of stars appear as gems upon a silver thread above the shadow of his head. The world. The world is gray, the mountains old, the forge's fire is ashen cold. No harp is rung, no hamper falls. I, uh, why do I keep, why is it that every time I look up lyrics for the song of Turin I get the abridged version? Thankfully, if that's the biggest annoyance in my day, I consider myself thankful. Why? Because the worst I have to put up with today is my, my phone being dumb. It is a smartphone, and it is stupid. Okay, I think I found a different, fuller version. Now, again, it's by popular demand, the Song of Durin. The world was young, the mountains breathed, stain yet on, the moon was seen. The words were laid on stream or stone, when Durin woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hills and dells, he drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in mirror, mirror, and saw a crown of stars appear as gems upon a silver thread above the shadow of his head. The world was fair, the mountains tall. In elder days, before the fall of mighty kings in Nargothrond in Gondolin, who now beyond the western seas have passed away, the world was fair in Durin's day. A king he was, and carven throne in many pillared halls of stone, with golden roof and silver floor, and runes of power upon the floor, and runes of power upon the door, the light of sun and star and moon. In shining lamps of crystal hewn, undimmed by cloud or shade of night, there shone forever fair and bright. Their hammer on the anvil smote, their chisel clove engraver wrote. The, their blade was forged and bound the hilt. The delver mined the mace and built their barrel pearl and opal pale and metal wrought like fish's mail, buckler and corslet, axe and sword and shining spears were laid and hoard and weary then were Doran's folk beneath the mountains. Music woke, music woke. The harpers harp, the minstrels sang, and at the gates the trumpets rang. The world is gray, the mountains old, the 
forges fire is ash and cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls. The darkness dwells in Durin's halls. A shadow lies upon his tomb in Moria in Khazadun. And still the sunken stars appear in dark and windless mirror or mirror. There lies his crown in water deep till Durin wakes again from sleep. Apologies for being a tonal. I, I literally did this on an Im on impulse. Don't think I need to explain why that's it's not a good idea. song perfectly reflects Moria's state. Here this is, the ancestral homeland of Durin, one of the most prominent of the fathers of the dwarves, infested with orcs, goblins, trolls, and a shadow and a flame. That should speak for itself. The, the great, the great old eight dwarven cities, kingdoms, is in ruins. Will Sauron and arrow fodder get to live unimpeded? Don't hit a man when he's healing. It's a good idea to do so anyway, but that is still very bad manners. Let's be honest, we weren't going to avoid any of these orcs anyway. The hobbits need rest, Gandalf. This seems like a sound place to camp. I agree. This is as good a place as any nearby. Very well, Where is everyone else? We shall camp here, but not for long. Orcs are on the prowl. They are indeed. Wait. Save game. Remember not to look at lyrics sheets while playing. I mean, it's kind of hard to focus on in combat and on singing a ditty. More so if I attempt to be in tune. Little orc, don't be bashful. I just want a clear shot. Oh, oh Gimli! Not loud. I hate it when that happens. It's stuck in a doorway. That, that is just so annoying. I'm not certain, but I think something is following us. Quietly, in the dark. Oh, hi, Smeagol.
You shall not. No, that's later. Bad troll. You are a very naughty troll. Go to timeout and think about what you've done. This is the way I came in. What is, what is with this weird... Okay. Minute, uh... Funny how the when it offers to continue your game, it doesn't actually continue your game. It just goes back to the whatever your last save was, if it, there was any. And I have supersonic Gandalf now. of the three passages. Well, I did a dumb.
bad goblins. Uh. Thank goodness for small mercies. to rest stay away from that well though who knows what is swimming around down there looking for a meal oh, you're a small catch Sam it would probably throw you back Pippin that's not a good idea fool of a took throw yourself in next time and we'll be done with you listen what's that sound it sounds like a hammer someone down there is sending signals we'll need to move on and soon before the orcs come uh, Wait a minute. Where's the fight in, in Balin's tomb? There is supposed to be a fight in Balin's tomb with the troll. That is conspicuously absent. And thankfully, Passages don't just end in booby traps. Use a bore of my special liquid. The exit draws near. Soon the mines of Moria will be safely behind us. I hope you're right. Uh, as we do didn't I. get to find a troll in Bolin's tomb. It is so cold and dark. Where are we exactly, Mr. Gandalf? I believe we're in the upper halls. Perhaps the 20th or 21st. They've been well looted and have little interest to the orcs. They prefer the lower levels, despite the shadow of fear that covers them. The uh, fear of what? Durin's bane. A dark creature unleashed long ago by dwarves seeking Mithril. They delve too greedily and too deep. Enough talk of the past. It is the present that concerns me. Do we rest or move on? I don't think we have a choice. Cave trolls! <laughs> Close Ooh, enough. The trolls. I'll find a way to get us out of here. For the Shire. And I healed myself when I didn't mean to. So, am I actually supposed to help?
Yes, thank you. The, the awkward camera angles are most helpful. This the way. Not really. Wait. Are so paranoid. <laughs> Is that why these are here? I couldn't say. Wait, this is this. Not, it wasn't definitively said if the 20th or 21st floor. Let's try survive. that again. And of course I'm kidding. Why would I subject myself to that kind of sadism? The book is a record of Balin's time in Moria. I fear the tidings are grim indeed. They met with early fortune, driving out a host of goblins. Then they discovered Mithril. The riches of Moria. It goes on to tell of Balin's death, an attack by orcs. Slowly but surely, the dwarves were driven back and trapped. The last lines read, We cannot get out. The end comes. Drums. Drums in the deep. They are coming. They made their last stand here. The effort to retake Moria was valiant, but foolish. We should be moving on. It's Valor in a nutshell for you, Lauren. Oh, Lauren. But enough about this. Let's get out of here before we are. Frodo, I fear the enemy is near. I will slay the foul beasts with my axe should they attack. Let us pass through this hall and find the others on the other side. I will do my best to offer my assistance. Ah, back to Frodo Baggins. The door there. It must lead into the hall. There must be a way to open it. Well, it's a door. Unless Frodo, it's barricaded. This needs to be crossed. Unless it's barricaded from the other end, I don't really understand what the problem is. Remember Bull Roarer Took. I don't think he actually invented golf. It's just it's a goofy. Thank you, Gimli, son of Gloin. Gloin. <laughs> Your archers are so very weak. Alas, another bridge to be crossed. The switch, I see it on the other side. You must get to the switch, Master Frodo, so that I may cross! Would you like fries with that?
Climbing the ladder. Climbing a ladder. Climbing a ladder. Climbing a ladder. Climbing up a ladder really high. This ring is more trouble than it was worth in the in the Hobbit. Let's do the ladder again. <sighs> not, I'm not bored. I'm just feel sleepy. enough mushrooms to open a pizzeria it's gonna close that so what now? Yeah, you could have climbed up that ladder yourself, Gimli. Okay, I know for a fact we're supposed to go this way. But the door isn't opening, and Gimli is conspicuously quiet. Just. Just. Give me a moment. Okay. The directions I looked up were completely incomprehensible for this area. Okay. 
This is gonna be one of those levels where you have to actually kill everything in between you and the exit, isn't it? I say this derisively, because considering that we're actively being chased by hundreds, if not thousands, of goblins. And no, I don't. I'm not entirely sure how Tolkien differentiated the two. So don't ask me. What will this do? Virtually nothing. Let's see if it can actually be used for something. Now this is just obtuse. And that is how you open a dwarven door. Little wonder the dwarves keep keep lo kept loose keep losing the their lands. Security precautions are so convoluted, they barely know how to use them. Frodo's feet are, are terrifyingly loud on the stone floor. Well, that was close. Durin's bane has come! To arms! Gondor! Go. Across the bridge of Khazad-dûm. This is a foe beyond any of you. I must face the Balrog alone. I am a servant of the Secret Fire. Wielder of the Flame of Anor! You cannot pass! Ow! Okay. Not a word. I thought it automatically saved that time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jump. Jump. I have eaten my weight in mushrooms. This back into place. Boing. Push, 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 push. Save game. His little hobbit feetsies go slappy, slappy, slappy on the floor. I wonder how re our hobbits would react to tile or linoleum or similar floor hard floorings. Not wood, they, they would definitely be used to wood. But then again, you did insta-kill me. <laughs> you can't see me, I am invisible! to help, but... Well, that would be crazy. Get out. Take this. Heal wizard. Okay, what are these doing so far away from the bridge? Sword that time. Wow. 
Concept bordering on insanity. How did I screw that up? This is getting tedious. He hasn't gotten me yet. Gandalf, take this. Is it the camera that's acting weird? Am I just bad at this? And... And... <sighs> Honestly, this is a decent stopping point as any. This has been Uncle Swinney with The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell notification icon, check out this game on bestoldgames.org. Have a happy Tolkien reading day, and I'll see you soon.